Hey guys, it's Tim. Private housing and affordability are two words that don't normally come together. But if you're on a hunt for one, there's a three bedroom unit coming on market. Let's check it out. Today, we are at Hillbrooks, a private condominium located in Hillview. It comprises a total of 299 units, 89% of which are three bedrooms. It boasts a range of amenities that you'd expect, such as a freeform infinity pool, two tennis courts, playgrounds, barbecue pits, gym, and a multi-purpose room. All right, welcome in. Let's talk about the house. This unit is 1,098 square feet. Now this isn't your ordinary three bedroom unit. The homeowners have redesigned the space by creating an open concept dry kitchen, a separate wet kitchen, and converted bathroom three into a laundry area. They have also combined bathrooms two and three to form a large bed plus study. The first thing you'll be impressed upon as you step into the unit is the spacious area between the kitchen and living room. What the owners have done is that they have actually redesigned this area. This used to be a closed and closed kitchen. Now they have made it to an open concept kitchen. Uh, what separates both the living room and the kitchen is this 1.8 meter granite from the top. So this is actually multifunctional. Uh, the whole owner loves to use this for their morning breakfast, for hosting of guests, and even baking sometimes. Let's take a closer step into the kitchen and like, explain a bit more. What the owner has is fully fitted uh, appliances, so you have a kitchen, they have a dishwasher right below the island countertop. They even have an oven right here which is all fully fitted in this area. Uh, one thing to also note about these finishes is that it's relatively high quality as both laminates on both sides so that helps with easy cleaning. cleaning. So as you can see, even in this uh, mini bar that they have here with a second sink, they also do use uh, the soft closing uh, mechanism from Bloom. Uh, so you can set this to whatever height you want or you can also close it. Now moving a bit further in, uh, let's take a look. Uh, we have a glass sliding door here which actually separates both uh, the wet and the dry kitchen. So if you want to do a bit of heavier cooking, what you can do is in this area. So uh, again, comes with your standard uh, kitchen, uh, stove and countertop. Alright, okay so that's the kitchen. Uh, now let's move on to the living area and talk a bit about this space. Um, this is that we have a 3.2 meter ceiling height which is relatively generous for condominium developments of this size. Uh, to my left, we have the dining area. Now for this dining area, we have a 6 feet dining table which can comfortably fit between 4 to 6 people. If needed, this can also be sized up to an 8 seater dining or even a long table if needed. Now, let's take a look at the living space. Now the first thing that you'll notice about this area is that it looks relatively polished. And the reason why this is so is because the homeowner has installed a enclosed ducting air conditioning system. Now talking about the living space, we have a 4-seater sofa with a 3-meter setback to the television. Uh, you'll notice that this is relatively generous. And if you want to create a cinematic experience, you can also install blackout curtains within this area. Moving on from the living space to the common corridor, to our left we have the toilet. Then we have the black granite vanity countertop uh, to contrast against the white deep cabinets below. It comes with the Bloom soft closing mechanism similar to the kitchen. Now coming further into the common corridor, to the right of it we have the master bedroom. First in the master bedroom to the right we have a uh, full height storage cabinet <clears throat> along the walkway and further in we have the master bedroom toilet. Similar to the toilet that I've just shown you, we also have the black granite uh, countertop flush with white cabinetry below. Stepping into the master bedroom, we have here a queen size bed with the optionality of sizing up to a king. And this faces two almost full height windows that looks out into lush greenery. Now, stepping into the final bedrooms, we have bedrooms two and three, which has been combined into a large bed and study. What we have behind me are two single beds, but this area can also accommodate a queen size bed. Now, looking at the opposite side, we have two study desks with cabinets above and a bench in the middle for general storage. We have four panels uh, of full height cabinets and a floor to ceiling mirror. 